Well, my first guest, who was born into a premier Hollywood family, grew up to be a space age princess, but has now gone on to become a vastly entertaining chronicler of the up and indeed downside of the film industry. From Hollywood, please welcome Carrie Fisher. <laughs> Carrie. Good to see you. <laughs> you take a seat. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I tried to summarise people's entire life in a, in a sentence there, but if we start at the beginning, you were you were sort of on in the films even before you were born because you're you I hung around the sets. Yeah. And that can get you yeah. really addicted to it. <laughs> but your mother was Debbie Reynolds, and she was... She, You're she... kidding. <laughs> <laughs> People always that explains <laughs> so much. I mean, because I thought it was a normal parent, and she, she dressed strangely yeah. for that. Yes. So when you... When you and, your fa and your father was uh, a, a very famous entertainer as well, Eddie Fisher. I know you know all this, but... Uh, just but so... I've forgotten yeah. so much of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you have to bring me up to date. Yeah. Did their marriage last? Well... <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, um, until you met Elizabeth Taylor, and then, of course, it was even more famous, uh, a controversy scandal. You mean my father left my sweet mother for that mm. woman? <laughs> <laughs> but then you went into the, to the movies, didn't you? So did you think that was just the, the, the natural thing to do, to become a screen star yourself? No, but I'm s s more natural in unnatural situations, I yeah. found. You studied acting over here in England, didn't you? Which was so helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the Shakespearean well, stuff, really, yeah. when I did the Star Wars trilogy. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you were, you were Princess Leia. I mean, That's right. you could have been King Leia, I suppose, as well, if you had done. <laughs> but it, now, you had an ex uh, sort of an unusual image in that first film. You had that uh, Princess Leia hairstyle, which was kind of... I, I mean, a weird hairstyle for me to copy, I must admit, but... Uh, but you did well, I, I heard. I did well, yeah, yeah. back then, but uh, it ruined me forever, but... Uh, <laughs> because, well, we have to remember what you look like in that film. I don't know if you can see the monitor. There, we, there that is you on, uh, in the film. I've, uh, <laughs> I've treasured that. <laughs> that. That is your Princess Leia, and we've got all the other... You get all the characters there, well, there was this sort of... My ex-husband used to put pins in it. Oh, did he? <laughs> pins. And, uh, the, and, and that was the other character, sort of strange humanoid thing. It looks a bit like John Major, doesn't it, really? But, uh, <laughs> what was he called? Is that, that's not R.T. Dutu, is it? That's C-3PO. Yeah, Ar Archbishop Desmond Dutu or something. <laughs> and there's a, well, there's another one of you here. I've got two of you. You're, you're, but they're you're... different shapes. One of them looks sort of more... Yeah. Look, well, you've, you've got a bit taller than that, obviously. This has a Christological quality. Yeah. This is like uh, the Rio de Janeiro one. <laughs> <laughs> But did you, um, I mean, did you share in all the marketing and the profits on that, or did you sign a sort of $500 deal and that was it? We, we flew over uh, economy yeah. and we were paid scale. But they right. gave us extra money later, so dinner's on me. Thank no. you very much. Uh, <laughs> but now, now you're, you, you've, you've got into the, the sort of screenwriting stuff in Hollywood. Uh, is that something you prefer to do than acting, or are you, you going to carry on acting as well? I, I never liked acting because I didn't like looking at myself in yeah. the mirror. So I'd imagine looking like that yeah. and I the hours are difficult I, I like the set yeah. I love doing Star Wars because I was the only girl in an all male yeah. fantasy yeah you know? yeah so you had fun so I even yeah. if I had the bad hairstyle and the stupid clothes yeah. Well, the clothes are good, especially in the later ones. You've got sort of less and less clothes as you got... Uh, but I didn't going, have any clothes sort of bikini, in the first sort of Madonna style bikini, wasn't it? In the first ones, I couldn't wear a bra because somehow they'd put a dress on me that you could see through. Oh, right. So they had to gaffer tape me down. Yeah. <laughs> well, sticky tape on your breasts, you think. And so I used yeah. to, at the end of the day, we'd have a raffle on which member of the crew used to be able to tape. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why R2-D2 made those little chirruping sounds? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so famous parents, very famous film. Then you got married. It wasn't just anybody. It was Paul Simon, so you were married that to... That, again, I didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> remember this him? Art Garfunkel. for yeah. me. Sound of Silence, does it not come back? Or... Uh, yeah, Bridge Over yeah. Debbie's Daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, it's all coming back. But that now. didn't, that sadly didn't last, that marriage. It didn't? No. Well, no. what a bummer. <laughs> Who, um... Well, what's happening with yeah. me, then? Who got to keep the albums? I mean, what, what's... <laughs> Artie. <laughs> I think Artie. Yeah. Art Garfunkel came between you, did he? <laughs> Very much so. Well, we know, we know a certain amount of your problems, because uh, you, you, you ran with a wild crowd, as I think the, the term has it, and as you wrote up in your books, which have been made into films, 
Uh, you got into drugs in a heavy way and went to rehab. They got into meat. They got into you, yeah, okay. I'm <laughs> no, let's go ahead. I yeah. know you're not from California. No. <laughs> we have drugs over here, but... Uh, I know. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> So we've got the memory span worked out now, but the, uh, <laughs> but you think that again, that's an inevitable thing as you're brought Not up in all. plenty of money. No, my brother never did drugs. Yeah. So, I mean, my brother has the same childhood basically, except for shorter hair and a yeah. lower voice. Right. Uh, and he didn't do drugs and it's not what you're given in a way, it's how you take it. And yes. so you, can't predict what's yeah. going to happen. So oh, you were given the drugs and you took it. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> no, we were both given a very yeah. extraordinary, yeah. non-ordinary environment. So I mean, the, th well, the image we get of uh, Hollywood. We've had Jackie Collins on the show, uh, who's, who writes novels, as you, I'm sure you're aware, <laughs> uh, chronicling <laughs> Hollywood life. And uh, it, it does seem everybody in Hollywood seems to have several marriages and and, and things going you know, wrong like that. Is that is that a part of the fact of having too much money, to being too bored? Or what? I don't think it has anything to do with boredom. But I think that there is a half-life out there that's weird. You do a movie for three months, everything's sort of finite, yeah. you know, and you meet. Mm. Part of your job is to kiss other people yes. and make love to them. It doesn't great for marriages, I don't no, think. No, but... I mean, it's permissible, <laughs> Yeah. You know? So in so, Star Wars, you would have been kissing Harrison Ford, would you? So that was I that your job, been. your paid work to do that? Well, I didn't. I actually had to give him money for those scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Most of yeah. the other ones. Yeah. But that's just acting. You're not getting any enjoyment from it when you're. Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody I was acting with once. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what are you working on the moment? Have you got the film scripts that you're writing, acting jobs? What's what's? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I did. Actually, I did something for the BBC called yeah. The Hollywood Family. Right. And so uh, it's a documentary yeah. on different... Yeah. But I, I heard you were writing, or at least I think I've heard you're, you're writing something with, for Barbara Streisand or working on I a film? I worked with uh, Barbara on a rewrite of a script called The Mirror Has Two Faces. Yeah. I worked on a Dustin Hoffman movie called Outbreak, yeah. which is about emerging viruses, a really funny, funny yes. story. You're writing <laughs> the gags. The gags. Oh, the Barbara God. Streisand one, is that the one that she's supposed to have uh, plastic surgery in? She's it? not supposed to. I don't know how that... Yeah. That's something that they put in tabloids or something. Yeah. I had to get plastic surgery. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't have anything to do with that. It's just a, her self-image and she yeah. looks different. But the story is that in the film she has to get... Uh, Michael Jackson's plastic surgeon she's supposed to get to, isn't it? That, that would be like going to Woody Allen's analyst. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for joining us. Gary Fisher. Okay. Very good. <laughs> now...